This is what I'll do. I'll do. Come on. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have this Valentine's Day makeup look for you guys. This is what I'm calling my Valentine's Day Nude Glam. This is like your natural beauty enhanced. You're looking healthy, radiant, glowy, and beautiful. I chose super cute, fun Valentine's Day themed makeup products for you guys. So I'm so excited to share them with you. This video is in collaboration with lookfantastic.com and I do have a discount code. It's Gabriella for 22% off. So I am fresh out the shower. I just got done exfoliating with this Frank Body Coffee Exfoliator. I love the name of this. It's super Valentine's Day super fun it says guess what you'll be naked in one minute you know i have super cute phrases on it and it smells and looks like straight up coffee but it's infused with some oils so once you exfoliate in the shower with this it's gonna leave like a little bit of an oily residue on your skin nothing um extreme it's gonna feel very soft and moisturized um so it says get naked and get wet in the shower massage and scrub this on your entire body leave it on for three minutes and then rinse and use it two to three times a week and there's a cute little bum on here so i think this is good to use on your bum i think that's what i'm going to be using it for frank body has super cute fun exfoliator so they have a coconut one a chocolate one uh, there's one that's like a disco ball i'm not sure what's inside of that one but they're super fun with fun phrases and it's just an experience i call this an experience so even if you are single on valentine's day just exfoliate for yourself let this be some self-love that you give yourself on valentine's day enjoy a nice shower or a nice bath and for extra hydration and moisture i'm gonna use this body butter this is by soap and glory no woman no dry so this is fruity and exotic smells just like that <laughs> So I'm going to apply this and then we can get started with the makeup. So I just slipped into something fun and Valentine's Day-ish. This is a super cute silky nightgown that I got from Amazon. I'll have a link to it down below if you're interested. It's super freaking cute. It was inexpensive and it's just perfect for Valentine's Day. So now I'm going to get my body butter so we can be moisturized, soft, and glowing i love exfoliating and moisturizing like this part of my body right here this is actually one of my favorite parts of my body which is okay to say good to say the things know the things that you love about yourself and i really love my like clavicle area right here like um my collarbone right here i love my collarbone and i also really love actually my skin so my face skin is not as good as the rest of my skin. You know, I have oily, blemish-prone skin, but the rest of my skin, I have like pretty nice skin. So I love to take care of it and try to maintain it as much as I can. So of course, Valentine's Day, we have to moisturize our lips. So I'm gonna use this Awake Lip Therapy Lip Mask. Now I do love wearing this at night, but I also wear this in the daytime because it's winter it's super cold here in chicago today it's currently like negative four degrees or something crazy like that so i love this um, lip mask so much because it really does improve the appearance of my lips and keeps the chappedness away so i'm trying to think if i should do my hair right now or what okay so i'm gonna do my makeup first and then later i'll curl my hair super quickly so i got this super fun kit from lookfantastic.com this is a glow all night flawless face kit so you know i want to glow all night for valentine's day so i definitely picked this up this is a redo set and refresh spray powder puff and then it comes with the beauty blender so i'm going to use the beauty blender today to apply my foundation i am going to use my 
Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation because this foundation goes nowhere. It stays on in place all day, super long lasting, full coverage. We're gonna have a no makeup makeup look, but we still wanna look flawless, okay? I got some blemishes here that I need to cover up. So I'm gonna use this full coverage foundation. So I am mixing the shades 2W1 Dawn and 3W2 Cashew to get my perfect shade. Before I apply my foundation, I'm going to prime my face with this L'Oreal Infallible Resurfacing Primer. I have never used this before. We're gonna try it out. Right now, I do have a little bit of textured skin. Since it's cold outside, I am a little bit like dry on my forehead. And also right here, I did some extractions yesterday. So it's a little irritated there. So anything that's smoothing and blurring, I need. So I'm gonna apply this. It does feel like a little, Silicone it reminds me of Smashbox photo finish primer. It even kind of looks like that packaging a little. So now we can go in with our foundation. I'm gonna blend out my foundation with the beauty blender. So now I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer in the color Light Ivory. I love the humongous applicator on here. So I like putting it on the sides of my nose to help with nose contouring. I'm also gonna apply it to my eyelids to cancel out the darkness and as a primer to my eyeshadows. So I'm gonna use the other side that I used for the foundation to just blend out the edges of my concealer. I know it's looking really bright, but I love using bright concealers to help with contouring, with contouring and highlight. Um, I've really been enjoying this e.l.f. Um, hydrating concealer because it doesn't settle into the fine lines under my eyes and it has really good coverage. It's very comfortable and lightweight. Blending out my nose highlight with my finger. So this is the little puff that came in the kit. So it has a pink fluffy side and then it has this little smooth nude colored side. I don't know what this is for. Is this just for like grip or is that for makeup application? Let me see. It comes with a little instructions. Directions. Deposit powder with the plush pink side. Reblend and touch up using the tan buffed buff suede so that is cool um and then it has like this little area here where like you can stick your fingers in there maybe that's what you're supposed to do instead of here i don't know i'm using my maybelline fit me loose powder in the color fair light i'm going to pick up a little with the powder puff I've never used a powder puff before. This is so easy to apply and it's so nice. Apply a little to my eyes to set that concealer as well. And it's so soft, it feels so good. I know we're looking really funny right now, but that's okay. So I'm still gonna take a powder brush to press it further into the skin and to apply the excess product onto the rest of my foundation to set it. I really like this and I feel like it applies powder a little better than a sponge because you end up using less product so so if you don't want to bake you just want to set then I feel like that's good but you could like build it up and bake also okay so for bronzer I'm gonna apply the physicians formula matte Manoi butter bronzer this is in the color matte bronzer so I'm gonna bronze up my face with this, bring it back to life because I know I'm looking very pale and flat. So we're just gonna apply this lightly onto our skin. I am not gonna do like contouring. I'm pretty much just like bronzing. Like we're just gonna bring some dimension to the face, not like hard structure with contouring.
And with a larger stippling brush, my Wet n Wild stippling brush, I'm going to blend out my bronzer to make sure that it's seamless. Again, so it can look natural. So you don't see the line of where it starts and where it ends. This is Rimmel Maxi Blush in the color Sweet Cheeks. You can also find this at Look Fantastic and use my code. So I'm going to apply this to my cheeks like this. Ooh, that color is so pretty. I love using matte blushes, especially when I'm struggling with breakouts and I don't want any like shimmer or shine to emphasize my texture. I love matte blushes and this color is so pretty. So like natural, like a natural colored blush, like, like, ooh, stop, you make me blush. So I think I'm gonna save highlight for a little bit later. I can move on to the eyes now. I'm gonna fill in my brows with the Wet n Wild Micro Brow Pencil in the color Brunette. And I'm gonna go in with a light hand because this can get a little dark um, because the formula of this pencil is very soft and creamy and I feel like it's very easy to put a little too much. So now that my brows are on, I'm going to set them in place with this Wet n Wild Brow Obsessive Brow Gel in the color clear. So this sets your brows in place, um, but it doesn't leave them like feeling hard. They still feel soft and fluffy. Gotta keep those brows in place all night. Who knows what sort of physical activity you'll be doing. So let's move on to eyeshadow. I have a super appropriate Valentine's Day eyeshadow palette. This is the Nude Dude Eyeshadow Palette by The Bomb Cosmetics. So this is super appropriate for this tutorial for this nude Valentine's Day glam natural beauty. This is full of a whole bunch of neutral colors. We got lights, mediums, darks, shimmers, and mattes. And look at how cute this packaging is. We got all our little nude dudes here. <laughs> so we got fearless, flawless, firm, flirty, friendly, fierce, fine, funny, feisty, fit, faithful, and fabulous. So let's get started with the eyes. We're going to do something very soft, something that's going to define the eyes, bring attention to the eyes, but still look very minimal. The color flawless right here is going to be my crease shade to create a little bit of depth and definition to the eyes. So now taking the color Fit, I'm gonna use my finger here. I'm gonna apply this to my lid. Now I'm going to pick up that same color fits with a flat shader brush to just really get into the, the areas that I couldn't get with my finger. This is a very soft, shimmery color. I'm going to highlight the brow bone with a matte color with the color Fearless right here. Blend that edge out with that, the crease brush. So that just helps to make your eyebrows look a little bit more lifted. That's pretty much it for eyeshadow. Keeping it really light and natural, very nude. So with a little itty bitty teeny weeny flat angled brush this is by wet and wild i'm going to pick up the color fine and this is a brown color and i'm gonna press a little bit of this right to my lash line just to help define it before we apply some 
lashes. We're not going to do eyeliner. Lightly defined our eyes. Still looking very natural. So of course we got to stay in theme and apply some naked eyelashes. So these are the Ardell Naked Lashes in number 422. Very lightweight. They have a clear band and they're kind of like multi-dimensional. So it's going to look really fluffy and cute. So let's apply some mascara and apply our eyelashes. I love how these look. It's been such a long time since I've worn baby lashes. Like these are baby lashes for me because I'm so used to wearing big dramatic lashes and they look so natural. Like your man would never know that you had fake eyelashes on. Okay. Because this looks so natural. Like Little does he know we have a whole face of makeup on. I can't wait to take this towel off and see like the full look, you know? So I'm gonna highlight my face now. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Face Studio Chrome Extreme in the color Sandstone. And um, I have the Maybelline Chrome right here, which is like a true gold color. And this is more like a soft rose gold kind of color i don't know i want to swatch it i've never used it before they're both broken i feel like these um highlights are just prone to breakage like they're very fragile because this is the second one that i get from the master chrome because it breaks and then this one broke on me and then this one arrived broken so i feel like these highlights are just so like fragile so be very careful with these highlights don't drop them or they'll probably break so I'm gonna swatch a little bit for you so you guys can see what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty. Let's add a little bit of shimmer. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, I really like the color of this. Now that looks very harsh. It's not blended, but I'm gonna blend that out. But I love the color. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my God, I really, really like that because my, um. My Master Chrome Highlight in Molten Gold can be a little bit too dark for me sometimes. Like it leaves like a little dark cast when I turn. So I only use that when I'm super tan in the summer. So I feel like this is a good color for me right now that I am, that it's, you know, now that it's winter and I am not tan at all. So I'm going to blend this out with my dual fiber brush and go like over the edges to blend it out. That way it's more natural, more subtle, and blended so you don't see like just a stripe of highlights. You know, we don't want it to look like a stripe on our face. We want it to look like we are glowing within, we drink our water, you know. We stay hydrated, we stay moisturized, glowing. Oh my God, I love it. Oh my gosh. I have a new fave drugstore highlight, you guys. Yes. Okay, we need to brighten up the windows to our soul, people. I love an intense inner corner highlight. This is not so intense, but an intense inner corner highlight is always a good idea for me. I'm going to keep the bottom of my eyes bare. So I only have my concealer down there. That's it. I'm not going to apply any eyeshadow, any eyeliner, or mascara. I'm going to leave it just bare. This is a naturally glowing, naturally radiant look. Guys, I am obsessed with this makeup. This looks so freaking pretty. We are almost done, people. This no makeup makeup look requires way more work than it actually seems. I'm going to remove the lip balm that I applied to my lips. And I have two lip products here. I don't know which one I'm going to use. I have one that I'm very excited about. I've never used this before. This is the Project Lip Plump and Color. It says, warning, this product will tingle. This is the color Strip. And when you open it, it says, addicted to the tingle. And I have never tried anything out like this. I have co of course, I've used a plumping lip gloss, but never a plumping lipstick. And this is in the color Strip, so it's a very nude color, very appropriate for the look we're going for today. So this is like a pinky nude color. So it is applying a little bit sheer. Ooh, I'm feeling the tingle. I am feeling the tingle. 
Nothing crazy so far. I actually like the tingle. Uh, but it does tingle more than like most products. I think this is comparable to the Too Faced lip injections, like the tingle to that one. I think this kind of tingle is the same as that. I personally like it. So I'm applying this e.l.f. Retro Paradise Lip Liner on the edges. This is really tingly, so this is gonna be something fun. That kiss is gonna be electrifying. Ooh, so fun. I like her. So this is the L'Oreal Matte Lipstick in the color I Am Power. And so this is a lipstick. Obviously, it's not long lasting. This is definitely not a kiss proof lipstick it's gonna wear off but i mean it's gonna leave a little tingle you know a little pizzazz to the kiss but if you want your makeup to be kiss proof mess proof stay on all night then you should go for a liquid lipstick that's gonna stay on oh look at this applicator this is such a cool little applicator so I kind of want to try it out. I feel like this color is a little bit um, more of what I would like for this makeup look. But I really love, I love the color of this. I just feel like it's a little bit pinky for the makeup look that I have going on. I feel like this color would go better. But I love the lipstick. I'm definitely going to be using this again. I think it is plumping. Like the longer I'm wearing it, the more it's plumping. Meanwhile... I am going to highlight my collarbone because you know we gotta keep it sexy keep it glowing so we're going to highlight right there mm -hmm. highlight the shoulder wow this is so tingly this might be even more than the Too Faced lip injection one for more radiance we're going to use this l'oreal shake and glow illuminating setting spray so you guys know i'm an oily mess i have oily skin so i am not going to apply this to my face no i'm going to apply this to my body yes hack if you have never done that before apply a hydrating setting spray to your body to make you look hydrated glowy and beautiful okay j-lo glow here do this to your body so you can get that j-lo glow but for my face, I'm going to be using, of course, y'all already know, Urban Decay All-Nighter Setting Spray because this is an all-nighter. It will stay on all night. I guarantee you. And I love to drench myself in that. This is going to prolong the wear of your makeup. It's going to prevent any breakage, separation from your makeup. It's also going to set the powders into your skin so you're going to be looking more natural, more radiant, and not so powdery because the powder is not going to be sitting on your face. It's going to melt into your foundation. You guys, my lips feel like they're like at least five times larger. I mean, it feels that way. I don't know if it looks that way. But me likey. I am so tired of seeing myself in this towel. This towel has got to go. Oh, oh yes. She's here. Yes, come through. I mean, I was gonna curl my hair, but you know, it's gonna get messy anyways. Should we just leave it wet and messy? I think we shall. I don't even wanna apply this one. Hmm, should I swatch it for you guys? I'll swatch it so you guys can see the color of it. Ooh, it's so pretty. I love this applicator. It's so cool. So that's the color of it. And this is a matte lipstick. So you guys, I think I'm just going to leave my hair wet and messy like this because I am just loving this. Yeah, so that completes this nude Valentine's Day glam makeup for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it because i had so much fun creating this video for you guys looks like me but better you know so thank you to lookfantastic.com for collaborating with me on this video so if you guys want to try out any of the products that i've mentioned in this video i'll have them linked down below and don't forget to use my discount code gabriella to save 22 percent if you guys enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the ring bell notification and also follow me on instagram at gabdel2 i love you guys happy valentine's day and i will see you all next time bye